Hey Sean, this is Keaton Everett with ABC going over your pitching video from camp. I'm going to go through and talk about your mechanics, talk about your delivery, your motion, and um, you know just go through and look at a couple spots for you, you know, to get you consistent, to you know make sure you're utilizing your lower half, to make sure you know we're in a nice healthy position to deliver the ball, looking at you know how you're finishing, how you're releasing, and so we'll go through and talk a little bit about that. You know, basically the big thing for you is um, is basically loading up more on your backside, staying back a little bit more through your foot strike, through your release uh, to maximize that lower half. You know, you're, you're not using enough lower half, and that's where the, the velocity, that's where the power is generated, um, is from our hips. You know, and so we got to make sure that we're maximizing everything and really um, using our body to deliver the ball. It's going to take less pressure off our arms, it's going to make us throw harder. Um, so it's something that, that we'll go through and I'll explain a little bit more for you. All right. So initially off the bat, you know, we, we look at, we'll go and look at this one here, is we look at our, our um, sort of our initial setup. All right. So what we want is is limited movements. We want eyes on the ca on the catcher. So you're doing everything really good. All right. Now make sure that our foot's never on that mound. All right. It cuts off distance but it's just slick. We always want to make sure that that foot's right in front of the mound. All right, so make sure that once that foot starts, we're in front of the mound, not on top of it, all right? Now, through your release, or through your foot lift, all right, you, you're, st you're doing good at staying over that back foot, all right? You're, you're seeing there's not a whole lot of movement going on initially, all right? You can see that, that there's just like a little bit of wobble, so just make sure you're working on that balance. You can see how it kind of you kind of go forward and back. But basically what, what we want to try to do, all right, this is a nice solid position right here. So once that foot gets to its highest point, all right. So now what, what happens here is the whole timing of everything. This is where everything starts off the delivery. You know, if we're, if we're late somewhere, it's going to develop into something down the hill um, that's not very good. It's just a lot of stuff happens here that if we fix, will fix problems down the hill. All right, so at this point, what we need to have happen is hips go forward, we need to have the hands to break, and we need this foot and knee just to kind of start down but stay behind our hips. All right, now we want to try to do this in a way that we don't bend our posture, we don't lose our posture, all right? So for you, you can see that you initially bend that posture back. All right, and what, what that's doing is that's giving you a sense of your hips closed but what that's really doing is just um, kind of losing the momentum of your hips, and you're really not gaining any ground. You just get this foot kicking out ahead, all right? So, um, you know, th this high um, hands, you know, sort of is, is like a lincecum, so it can be pulled off. It's just really hard to time, really hard to, um, to get consistent with, but the difference um, between you and lincecum is he's already getting going with his hips, um, before he gets to this position. So he's getting down the hill, you know, at this position, you know, he's probably down down here a ways, you know. So we just got to get you initially getting that body going forward, especially if you're going to sink back that far. So you're, you're just getting more, more in those hips. And basically what this does for you is, you know, straightening out this, this leg right here, you know, tilting back so much is to, to sort of to make you stay balance through your body, you're having to straighten this leg out back here. All right, so at your foot strike, which is right here, so once that front foot hits the ground, all right, you can see how this back leg's already straight. You got weight shifted down over your front side already, and you can see you're already starting to pull off your front side here. All right, so at this point in time right here at this foot strike, we want to have a load in your backside, meaning we want to see a little bit of bend in that knee so we got a load back here, our weight's still back here, that knee's kind of pointing towards the ground. We're still loaded up on this back side, and then this front side still hasn't turned yet, you know, so we're still out here somewhere with that arm, you know, back here wherever it was. So all this is showing us is that, you know, at foot strike, your weight is distributed here instead of back over here, all right? Y your shoulders popped out, all right? We want to try to have everything closed off a little bit more because through your release, you can see that to get our power, to get our velocity, we need our lower half to turn before our upper body. 
All right, so you can see that your hips go at the same time as your upper body. All right, so what we want to try to get to is, you know, I'll, I'll draw sort of a line of once our, our front side starts to open. So right here, you know, we're, we're about sort of like this. So we want to try to get our hips to this position with everything back here. All right, so you're still back here. That upper body hasn't rotated. Um, the hip goes and then everything comes through. So you're just going at the same time and you're just early. And that's just because you, you're, you're back here so far and you haven't been getting going in your legs that this is straight and that when we first hit that foot strike, we got weight already out on our, on our knee. You know, we want to try to get to a point where we're loaded up more on this back side. We got a little bit more load in that knee back here. And that knee's just turned down and, and we're storing up energy in the hips and the foot or in the knee, and then we get over that front foot. So you can see through your release, it's almost like you're, you know, you're know you pulling off that front side, and now it's kind of, everything's pointed upwards. You're just kind of working uphill instead of downhill. All right, so now here's your exact release point. All right, you got your head sort of uh, over your heel. All right, this front foot's already straightened out. And we want to try to get to a point where we're taking that load, all that energy forward, and we're still bent here. We're staying straight through that back leg a little more, and that's going to get you out, you know, out over that front foot a little bit farther. So now we're going to be releasing the ball downhill, uh, down here, going downhill a little bit more, all right, instead of back here a little bit flatter. So you're just using more energy. We, we want to make sure we're not doing this and that we're going downhill with everything. All right, and that's just all that is, is that you're out early, you're out front, you're rotating early, and then you're kind of just throwing uphill. At this point, we want to try to get out farther. So then through your release, you can see how, you know, your, your body's, you know, that back foot's still on the ground, still on the ground, you know, and you, you should be finishing almost flat. You know, you're finishing back right down here, you know, just legs kicking up over here. So you just need to use more legs more body, you know, more lower half, and just stay closed longer, and just stay in those, you know, just stay in the backside. You're just getting out ahead of yourself, then, and it's just that postural change causes you to kind of, um, you know, straighten that back leg out too early, shift weight too forward, too soon, and then you're just not able to get out over that front foot. So stay back a little bit longer, um, you know, and just if you can, watch that postural change. Try to stand you know, a little bit farther and initially, you know, back here, just try to get more speed, more distance with your hips. All right, you just get them going down farther instead of kicking this foot out farther. All right, just, just work on getting down the hill, getting those hips closed and just driving out over that front foot, you know, not throwing against a straight leg, but throw against a, a bent leg and then it's going to straighten, you know, throw against a leg that looks like this all the way through release and then it'll start to straighten you know as you finish out over that front foot and that body's you know almost parallel to the ground alright so just that's just that's just going to be big is just sort of re kind of wiring that lower half a little bit so hopefully you're kind of able to see a few things and make a few adjustments this, this uh, off season but you know everything's there it's it's working it, it you know it's the foundations there now it's just a couple of tweaks stay closed longer use a little bit more hips and you're going to be good to go, especially as you get older, get stronger, um, and get more advanced with your baseball. So thanks again for making it out to camp. Hopefully you had a great time, and we look forward to seeing you again with ABC.